Hello and a very warm welcome to this Bitwig tutorial. In this episode I talk about uh, Drum Machine and how you can export the MIDI notes from every um, pet on that uh, Drum Machine and how you can easily um, create audio tracks. But let's get started. Hello, so here I have a Drum Machine and here a uh, MIDI clip with that drum machine and this sounds like that. Okay, so I have a kick, a snare, hi-hat closed and a hi-hat open and some operators here working. So, and I want to separate um, those MIDI notes on uh, on separate uh, tracks in my arranger. So the easiest way to do that is just to uh, take one pad, hold down the control or command key and drop it over here. So now you have a newly created drum machine with only a kick pad and the kick notes in here, just the kick notes. And um, this operation you can do over and over again until you drag and drop always with the command or control key and drop it over here. Then you have all the different pads in newly drum machines and all the notes here on separate tracks in your arranger. Okay, and this was the original one. And these are the exported ones. And you can hear that they are a little bit different because when I uh, want to um, export the media notes, it doesn't export all the effects I put in here in the effect chain. So on the new drum machine, there is no effect chain. If you want those effects on your effect chain, uh, on your new uh, drum machine too, um, you have to copy these effects uh, manually to the new drum machine. But be aware if you have something like a compressor or um, other things that are doing something with the dynamics of your sound, um, this will sound a little bit different if you just uh, put them on um, the single instrument like single kick or single snare or single hi-hat. So, um, Maybe you put it, uh, you put all those effects in a, in a bus, in a scent, and um, do it over there. Or you just want to have all those MIDI notes on the separate tracks, and then you don't need those FX um, chains. So this is one way to, or this is the way to um, extract the MIDI notes in a very easy way. Now I delete all that. And uh, sometimes you want to create just the audio um, files or audio tracks from that drum machine. For that, you just put your MIDI clip over here, activate the arranger, and then be sure, because there are operators in there, what is, um, what is the most um, or the highest iteration over here? This is every four tracks. This is every two tracks. This is every four tracks over here, four and four. So the highest iteration um, or loop is four tracks. So I extend this clip to four loops. And now I have um, every variation with my operators in there. So what I do now, I want to, um, I want to create audios from those tracks. So now I go, for example, for the kick, solo the kick, take my, drag my um, MIDI clip over here, hold down the Alt key, and now it starts to bounce the kick because kick is always soloed and um, it's a bounce in place. So um, it's bouncing the whole kick. So next with the snare, I do the same, drag it over here, Alt key, and put my snare over here. So now I take the hi-hat closed and put it over here, hold the Alt key, 
draw that and put it over here and the same now with the hi-hat open take it here and hold the alt key drop it and put it over here now if i uh, mute the original one and just play the audio You see and hear all the iterations are, or all the variants um, are over there and the effects are also in there. And there's a little trick with the effects because of uh, something to know with the effects if you maybe don't know. If you do bounce in place, what we did right over here, the bounce in place always just bounces the first device in a device chain. So what I, um, what I can do, for example, if I just do that like that and put over here, for example, a delay 2 to create some terrible sound. And this sounds normally with the MIDI. So in this, in this um, device chain, there are two devices. The first device is the, the drum machine and the second device is delay. So if I now uh, take this again, drag it over here, hold on the Alt key and drop it and deactivate every device so just the audio is played, you'll get this. So the bounce in place just really bounces the first device and as soon you put something in the FX chain, it, um, it's connected to the... Uh, um, it's owned by the first device. It's counted like in the first device. So if you have a longer device chain and you want to bounce all those effects and you don't want to put that in the device chain, you have to um, use, for example, a chain device where you put everything in here like that, move it in here. So everything is in the device chain. And if you do the same again, just drag it, hold down the Alt key and drop it. Deactivate and play only that. You have all the effects in there with the delay. So that's very important to know. And uh, something other very important is like that. I would kindly ask you to just do that, for example. because it helps the channel a little bit to grow. And I would love to ask you to just comment, just um, to have a little bit of feedback, or maybe you have some more tips and tricks. Others may have to know about that. Just write it down in the comments. I would be very happy. Or if you have just questions, I try to answer them. So that's all for that video. I hope you liked it. And I, I hope you can use that um, to improve and uh, speed up your workflow. And um, yeah, stay healthy. And I hope I see you soon again in the next video. See you. Ciao, ciao.